What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about Bitcoin Cash today. Shout out to the Dragon Riders in the House of the Dragon. You guys, we did it. We've done it. We're at 618. We went to a high of about 640 on Coinbase in the last 24 hours. Beautiful. Love to see it. Love to see it, man. It's, it's great. Yes, as of right now, we have bearish divergence, rather severe bearish divergence on the daily time frame. But at the same time, it's so far, it's so far away. Like, I don't really know if I would count this as bearish divergence, but but even if it is, man, okay, cool. We could pull back to 500 bucks. Um, that could happen, give people an opportunity to buy down, but we're not gonna have confirmed or printed bearish divergence until we get a red day. It could be today, but I don't think it will. Um, I'm going to pause the music because it sounds like we're actually getting into the uh, the TA. One more shout out to the Dragon Riders, man. You guys, everybody holding Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash here uh, for, I don't know, man, for multiple years, for several months. You guys, we're reaping the benefits right now. Everybody, if you've been holding it for longer than a month, we're all up 27% at least. So, I mean, you've definitely got to be having, I said a month, I meant a week. I meant a week. We're up 27%. I'm like, I'm like wasn't it higher? 107% this month. Beautiful. Beautiful. You guys, if we look at CoinGecko, you go to the seven day, right? Seven day uh, top dogs. Bitcoin Cash is fourth place. It's been in fourth or fifth place all week. Nobody's talking about it. People are talking about Dog with Hat. People are talking about Dogecoin, ICP, eCash, Fetch, Fetch.ai, Litecoin has been getting some attention today. Bonk, of course, Maker. I've heard all those being talked about. Nobody talks about Bitcoin Cash. I haven't heard anyone talk about Gate. I don't. I don't really know. Is that Gate. Got Gate. Io's token? I don't know. Uh, Twenty-four hours also in fourth place. It was in second place for a majority of today, but these two must have just started doing well. Uh, Litecoin, of course, it's the point of discussion because it's in first place. But man, Bitcoin Cash hasn't been getting any love. Classic. You guys know it. I know it. We love seeing this thing do well. People notice it, right? Right. Like prime example, Ben Armstrong. Uh, and no shade to Ben Armstrong, man, but but BitBoy he, on his channel earlier, he was going over the top dogs for the day for the twenty for the last seven days, whatever. And whenever he he said Bitcoin Cash, like he said it out loud, but it's like he passed that over, right? He focused on other things, but he like passed that over. So it's just it's funny to me, like, and and I'm just using him because I actually watched his video earlier, but I, I watched a few videos actually er, earlier today. Nobody's talking about Bitcoin Cash, man, and it's been doing very well. It's up 107 percent this month. It's a top tier. Crypto. It's the 15th best crypto, and really, that's not even true. Actually, if we look at it for what it's worth, Tether shouldn't be considered as a crypto. It's as good as U.S. dollars, right? If we go to Lido staked Ether, that's essentially Ethereum. So there's two that really don't. USDC doesn't count. That's three of them right there. Uh, in my opinion, maybe I'm nitpicking, but that's three. Really, Bitcoin Cash, how I see it, it's in 12th place. It's not the 15th top crypto. It's the 12th top crypto. Um, some people think exchange tokens shouldn't be there. I think they should. I think they, they're speculative, you know. Um, but USDT, USDC, stake Ether, wrapped Ether, whatever, it's the same price as Ethereum, like literally. So I just, I think it's it's all more or less the same stuff. This is like, this just shouldn't even be incorporated in the market cap. I get it that it is a crypto, but man, I'm getting off topic here. Um, really what I'm trying to say is it's a top tier coin. And it's doing very well and nobody's talking about it. I wonder how well it's going to do when people start talking about it. And in fact, you guys know the rules. You know how it is. When people start talking about it, that's when you should be a little bit nervous. That's when, you know, maybe we're going to get a little selling off uh, and some profit taking might take place. But I've got this white line drawn up here because this is kind of the area that I would assume people will start to talk about Bitcoin Cash. More people will start to talk about it here because right now, in a lot of people's eyes, Bitcoin Cash is like this fake Bitcoin. It's a forgotten about project. It's, it's only going to find lower highs and lower lows throughout its history, even though it hasn't found lower lows. Uh, it's actually found a nice like kind of phase of accumulation and consolidation. I think there will start to be attention here, and I think people will start publicly talking about it uh, a lot more up here. You know, the conversation of, is it is it the better Bitcoin? Like, oh, hey, guys, like, you know, I know we all threw shade at Bitcoin Cash for a long time, but you guys, have you, have you actually looked at it? It's actually, it's actually the better Bitcoin. Those kind of conversations won't just be had in the BCH community. They won't just be had in the Dragon Rider, uh, the House of the Dragon community, man. They're going to be had on a larger scale, in my opinion. Or maybe if we're lucky, they'll just keep hating it all the way up and, and we'll just pump strictly on, on hate, man. Uh, the, the Green Dragon thrives on, on, your, uh, on your dismissals, man. Anyways, let's get into the TA, guys. I'm, I'm going off. I'm talking way too much. Uh, 
on the monthly. I love where we're at. I love that we're overbought. It looks super clean. I love this candle. A lot of volume. Um, it's basically the same amount of volume we had over here with the same move. It just it looks phenomenal. How much should we move up that month? 168. We're at 107, so a little bit less volume, a little bit less of a move, of course. But the month's not over. We have two days left, and I do think we have higher to go. We finished this day yesterday with a uh, $640 price essentially at the high. And we're, and we're a little bit red right now. Where are we going to go in the immediate terms? And my, my answer is up. I think we're going up. If we take this high to low here, right there, you can see that we meandered around this 618 for a while. We hugged it, man. It's so clean. So very clean on the 618. Came all the way back to the 069, found support directly on there. By the way, again, guys, I say this all the time. This is not a fib. The 069, the 0.69, they're not fib levels. Um, and I don't just put them there because 69 is a funny number. I put them there because I find significance on them, relevance on them. Um, we found support on the 618 here. We found support right on the 69 there, you know. Um, and then most of this, we didn't actually go above the 69. It was like in this range where we topped off. Um, it's just an area that I find I find a lot of significance on in itself. Um, and 69 in itself, I know a lot of people use it as an innuendo, but it's actually a, a number of balance and kind of uh, duality, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's got other meanings behind it as well. But very positive fib structure, enough of the hippie stuff. Right now, we've seen a rejection off the 1414. And we finished the day, the last four hour candle, with a positive reaction, a bullish engulfing candle, with uh, not not a whole lot of volume, to be fair. Let's look at it on, on Binance, I wonder. Not a whole lot of volume. Uh, but we finished it bouncing off the 1272. This kind of look right now, you guys, makes me think we're moving up to $700. And we're probably going to do that like right now. Today, tomorrow if not by the end of this week in the very beginning of next week this move is not done until we see seven hundred dollars um, i'm very very confident in that i think that after we see this area i mean sure we could go we could still go higher it is possible but i think what we're going to do is consolidate probably in this area for how long i don't know you know we'll know when we get there we absolutely could go from 700 back down to 600 and then move up to our next level, which would be about 787, maybe 800 itself, or even up above $900 to uh, to kind of open up the uh, the month of April. Or, you know, and that's assuming that we kind of maintain this breakout move, but we're not we're not really done with it yet. Um, or, you know, maybe we consolidate longer. We uh, instead of being productive on the fibs, we get deep deductive, uh, deconstructive. Instead of constructive, we get deconstructive where we go to the 1272 again, maybe we reject the 1414 and then we go lower. We could come back down. We really could go all the way up to $700 and come back down to that 530, $500 area. That's absolutely possible. And that's absolutely okay if that happens because it's still a higher low. We'd be finding support on previous areas of resistance. That'd be a good look to set us up to go higher. But nonetheless, what I'm trying to say is I really do expect we're going to this $700 area very soon, very, very soon. Um, I was quite confident. I've been quite confident over the past few days that we would go um, into this area. And now that we're in this area with this look that we have going on right now, you know, short of like an, an immediate sell on this four hour, which I don't think we're getting, um, or maybe the next one even, um, you know, like an engulfing candle that would take us back below the 1272. Short of that happening, I don't see a scenario where we're not going up to $700 or higher, like, like today, tomorrow, the next day, to close this week out, if not to open up next week. And at this point, I'm repeating myself, man. So I don't know if I have anything else I want to say. We can go over the bullish case scenarios right now. For everybody wondering, is it too late to get into Bitcoin Cash? You hear me saying that it's, it's going to go to $500, $530. Uh, you know, inevitably, maybe, you know, I, I didn't say inevitably, I mean, maybe, um, let's just see here real quick. Top to bottom here, you know, the 886 is right there at $500. Is it too late to buy Bitcoin cash? Could it go back down here? Would this be a better area to buy? This would be a better, a better area to buy, but you never know. That's not promised, right? And if you're feeling the FOMO now, you're definitely going to be feeling the FOMO up here. And what happens if we don't get that deconstructive look? where we move down there, what happens if instead we bounce off the 1414 for support and then now instead of at $700, you're at $800. You're feeling the FOMO here, but you're not buying. You're feeling the FOMO here, you're not buying. Then you finally give in and buy all the way up here and then we correct. You know, don't 
don't do that to yourself. If you're not involved with Bitcoin Cash, it's absolutely not too late. None of this is financial advice, but it is a bit high. Obviously, it's a bit high. This week, we're already up you know, 27%. This month, we're up 100%. Um, but I think we have a lot higher to go. And that's where I want to transition into this, this longer-term analysis real quick. Not, not really a longer-term analysis, just more of like long-term price targets. Uh, I've watched a few videos today on people talking about Bitcoin Cash and where they see it going. You guys, I'm, I'm a bit bewildered as to how some of these people are, are so pro Bitcoin Cash yet they don't see it going above $2,000 this cycle. They don't see it going to new all-time highs. They think that, you know, literally I heard I heard this account, uh, guy's got a lot bigger of an account than I do, you know, uh, I'm, I'm not going to give like a shout out or anything, so I'm not, I'm not trying to call anyone out by name, but, but I heard him talking about like this price area being the cycle high and that that cycle high would come in this year. That it would happen this year, it happened in the middle to the like third quarter, fourth quarter of this year. Um, I think he literally actually was even saying before before half the year was over. Um, so that's it, right? He's just he, essentially what I heard was we're gonna find our cycle high around 2K before June, and then we're 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 at our cycle high. That doesn't that doesn't make any sense to me, man. I've heard I've heard a lot of people who are hardcore, maybe not hardcore Bitcoin cashers, but they. Uh, they definitely believe in it enough to think that it's going to go higher, but they don't give it the time of day whenever we talk about prices that are above 4300 even above this high here. Um, you guys, fact of the matter is, I want to point something out. Okay, I just I actually just made these kind of connections here. Okay, we'll get back to it. Hold on. Hold on. Fact of the matter is, if we take this high to low right here. Look at this, right? High to low. Found, some, found resistance around your 618, came back down to your 0.69, and then off to the races, you're at your 1272, 141, uh, 1414 area, right? On your daily, whatever. And these these are different time frames. But I'm just saying, specifically, you found support on your 069, kind of had like a double bottom, but a slightly higher low. What's that remind you of? What's that look like to you? I'll tell you what it looks like to me. I'm going to tell you right now. We're going to go over it. Maybe you already know. Let's see, high to low, 618. Resistance, we found it, right? We even kind of grinded up around this area for a little while, but 618 resistance right in this area, wicked a little bit above it, sure, but in this area nonetheless, went all the way back down to our 069, and we're working our way up, you guys. We found resistance on the 382, support on the 236. This is a classic kind of formation when interacting with the 61869 area. And if on our second interaction, because that was our first, this would be our second after our top to low, on our second interaction, if we break above $907 clean, we get above it, really it'd be nice to get above $1,200. But if we, if we don't do something like this, right? If we, if we just go up through it, we find support up here, we find support like in there, whatever, and we just continue to go up, we don't reject out of it, right? We don't just do this. Even if we do do this, what I'm about to say is still completely possible and I still believe in it, but, but just from a statistical standpoint with the FIBS, if we break through $900, I don't understand how you could say we're only going to $2,000 because what that would imply is that we have not just a possibility of going up here, but a likelihood, a likelihood. How I've done it with FIBS, what I've identified time and time again is this exact rule, right? Um, and it's something I've expanded on because I read it online once uh, that when you interact with the 618, when you break through it on the first pass, your extended areas are essentially where you would look to go to. Okay, I read that online like a, like a long, long time ago. I applied that in my own analysis and I've been doing technical analysis for over seven years now, you guys. And I've applied that in my own analysis and I've expanded upon that. It's not just the first attempt. You get two attempts. And then on the third attempt, if it takes three attempts, you are still, and that's what I mean, if you reject here and then you come up and then this is your third attempt, you still have the possibility of going here. It doesn't mean that it's off the table. It just means instead of it being a likelihood, now it's like kind of what it is now. It's a possibility. It could still happen and it does happen often enough, but oftentimes when you get a third pass, you find resistance at your 886, 786 area, and then you go down. I'm not anticipating that for Bitcoin Cash, but what I'm trying to say, what I'm really trying to say before I get off topic uh, explaining the FIBs and how I use them is that $907, $1,216, this range, when we break through this on this next attempt, which we're looking like we're going to do, this is on a monthly, so I mean, at some point this year, Probably in the first half, if not in the second half, but I would think in the first half we're going to interact with this. If we have a positive reaction, 
How can you say we're going to stop at $2,000, $3,000, $4,000 when literally statistically speaking, man, the likelihood is that we're going to – like with an 80% chance of, of uh, probability, we're going to go up to at least 13 k that's what this means. That's what this means. And don't even try, don't even try to tell me that, man, that was the first all-time high. That was all the way back in December of seven, uh, 2017. Man, that was the all-time low back in December of 2018. It's irrelevant, this cycle. Don't tell me that. You can't tell me that when we literally found resistance right at the 786, when we closed in the golden ratio zone itself, when we came all the way back and literally held the 0692 at T, which is not just a one-off. I gave you the example on the daily where we literally just did that same thing, okay? We found resistance on the 382, we found support on the 236, and now we're reaching up for the 61869. Don't tell me that this isn't relevant. And if it, if it is relevant, if it absolutely is relevant, then that would mean that these targets are on the table. And it's the same stuff I've been saying for months now, that everybody here that's been watching the channel since, at least since June, if not earlier, you guys know this is the game plan, right? Do what you want. None of this is financial advice. You do what you want. If, if you got in at... 100 bucks if you got in at 300 bucks 400 bucks any even if you get in here and you want to sell at two grand four grand you want to take your money and run do it do it and don't let me stop you because it might that might be a smart decision maybe we do you never know nothing is promised just because it's likely i said 80 percent chance there's still a 20 percent chance that we could flop it, it can happen nothing is guaranteed i don't think it will i actually have a bet with a, with a good friend of mine uh a good i should say a good online friend we've never met in real life actually but i've got a we, we make bets and we do pay each other he, he's good for his money i'm good for my money uh we're, we definitely uh have gone back and forth on some things man um but we have an active bet right now i he wanted to bet me that bitcoin cash won't break 8k and i told him that was too nice i told him i bet you it will break 12k because i think it's going to break 13k but I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna wiggle it down a little bit right i didn't share all my information with him but he said 8k i bumped it up for i'm like dude i don't want to take that bet he's like no you too chicken i'm like no i want it to be 12k so it's at least fair and uh I'm, I'm just i'm that confident on it guys absolutely and i don't i don't really make bets on stuff like that man if i bet i'll do like sports bets or i'll just like do old-fashioned uh, gambling at the tables um, or leverage trading for that matter but uh, you know I don't normally bet with with technical analysis and you know not that this is like a like a uh, what's the word not that this is a flex but I have I have an active bet it's a small bet it's a very small bet it's like a hundred bucks I mean it literally is a hundred dollar bet um, that this thing will this cycle break 12k and i think that it'll at least break 13k with the potential to go up to 23k it even has the potential to go all the way up to 53,000 i don't talk about this number enough because if it was coming to betting on this i wouldn't bet that that would happen if someone said uh will you bet me that it doesn't happen i would not say that i bet it doesn't happen it's absolutely possible but that's so far away that would be an, an immaculate run up i don't see it happening but i do accept it as a possibility past that I would take a bet that we don't see 158k this year. I would take that bet. Um, but anything can happen, man. Anything can happen. I'm getting all all uh, twisted. All I'm trying to say, guys, is right now with how we're looking, the immediate next stop that we have is $700. Okay, somewhere around there. We probably consolidate between 700 and 500. More likely 700 and 600 for for a couple weeks, a month or two or so. You know, something like that. Do a little consolidation phase. And then we move up. We have our little pre-consolidation right below the 618. And then that way, whenever we break above it, we have a clean break above it, something like that. When we interact with this area, with this $900 to $1,200 area, and specifically this number here, $900, when we break that, to assume that we will stop here would go against the odds for you, okay? To assume that we would stop there would go. And, and I'm not saying that we can't consolidate here, have a move up, and then stop here, maybe even pull back down to here and then move up again and like, you know, like we could absolutely consolidate and it probably wouldn't take that much time. This is all the way in 2026, but just for like, uh, to make a point, right? Maybe ignore the time, but just pay attention to like what's happening in the, uh, in the fibs itself. Um, we could absolutely find turbulence in these areas, but I don't think it's going to stop us. I think inevitably we are going to move up to this zone, more likely somewhere in this lower half of the zone. And that's, that's the same old song and dance that it's been, you guys, uh, for months now, for almost a year now. Um, you know, I was calling for this actually even in the last cycle. And just like Bitcoin, just like a lot of different cryptos, really everything is, except for like Ethereum and some altcoins, uh, 
like Dogecoin and meme coins, you know, a, a lot of coins got kind of cut off of their potentials during the last cycle. Litecoin is a good example of that, you know, DGB, um, Bitcoin, of course, you know, I'm, I'm drawing blanks here, but there's there's definitely a lot of cryptos that have been around for a while that uh, that didn't get to see their new all-time highs. And I think that the, the last cycle is not a good uh, comparison to take going forward. I don't think that we're going to find a lower high. I don't think that we're going to go below this high as our cycle high. I'm just curious real quick. Look at that, man. We're almost interacting with this line, man. And that, that does not mean that we are out of a downtrend. We are still, I mean, I guess technically we're not in a downtrend. We don't have lower lows. We do have lower highs, but we're technically not in a downtrend. We're in really a, a, a grand consolidation phase. But I don't know, man. Wouldn't it be funny if we like went up around here, consolidated in this area and we can, we can wick down. That's okay. But as long as we don't like close a month or like multiple weeks below the 618, um, we could wick down back to this area. Uh, but wouldn't it be funny if we consolidated in this zone before like going higher, you know, break out of that line? I don't know. Um, all I'm trying to say, man, I'm getting, I'm getting too excited. I'm talking way too much. All I'm trying to say is that this weekly RSI is very bullish. It's a very nice bounce we have. We do have bearish divergence, but it's not confirmed until we get a red week, which probably won't be this week, but next week has the possibility to do. If we do get a red week, we would likely move back down to about 472. Um, I think we want to go higher. I think we will negate this bearish divergence. And then we'll just pull back, probably wick around or uh, uh, consolidate around that $600 to $700 area with the absolute possibility of moving back to $500 and still being okay. But inevitably, you guys know we're working our way up higher than that. Not even a little bit higher than that, but dramatically higher than that as the cycle goes on. This all stemmed from the idea, is it too late to buy Bitcoin Cash? Is it too late? My answer is no. It's not too late, absolutely not. From all time high to all time low, that significant FIB level to which we are still respecting to this day. And if you wanna say we're not respecting it because we didn't find respect on the 0.5, the 0.5, we don't normally respect it anyways. That's not something that most charts respect. You know, and at times it might, but, but not always. And it's not most of the time, not a majority of the time. Watch us find significance on the 61869 area. Watch us like kind of consolidate around here. Um, or break above it and then find support on it. Maybe we don't find resistance on it, but, but break above it and find support on it. But from here, we're talking a minimum gain throughout the cycle of a 21X from right here, 21X, potentially to a 37 and a half X. So is it too late for Bitcoin Cash? If those numbers don't sound good to you, then maybe it is. Um, there's definitely coins that have more potential out there, but I would say I'm less sure of. Bitcoin Cash is my largest hold at this point in time. Um, and I'm very happy with that. I'm very, very happy with that. I think that's, that's a good coin to have as your largest hold. So I don't know, man. Uh, I got nothing else to say. Again, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. If you guys like the video, hit that like button, subscribe. If you want to see more, things are just getting started and it's not going to happen overnight. We're not going to move to those levels overnight. This is, I'm talking about a year, a year and a half longer than that. Okay. Well, maybe not longer than a year and a half actually but about a year to a year and a half's time. It's crazy, man. We're already in April, essentially. Like we're at the end of March. We're basically already in April. It's crazy. Time is flying, but it's not too late. So that's all I got to say. If you guys like the video, hit that like button. Bitcoin Cash, very soon, like within the next seven days time, I think even within the next three days time, we're going to move up to $700 um, and watch it be on the fourth day. Just like today, we broke above $600, but I was calling for yesterday to be the day that we went above $600. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I got a little bit off track there, but, but that's what you get sometimes. Take care. Bye-bye.